Join Kids Hat Family. Hey guys. Hello. What do you want? Can I play with you guys? This is a game for big kids. Go away. Actually, why don't you stay to hear a story I was about to tell my brother? Okay, thanks. Once upon a time, there lived a king who had twelve beautiful daughters. He loved the princesses dearly. But one thing about them worries him a lot. I cannot understand what my daughters do because of which they need a new pair of shoe every morning. How can it be that their shoes are fine through the day, but in the morning they are worn out completely? To find the truth behind his daughter's shoes, the king announced in the kingdom that anyone who uncovered the secret would be awarded handsomely. Many people came. But no one could understand how the princesses managed it. One day, an old soldier decided to go to the palace. As he was walking, he came across an old woman. Where are you going? I am going to the palace. I would love to solve the mystery of the princesses and become a king one day. That's not very difficult. Here, take this invisibility cloak and use it when the time is right. Nobody will be able to see you as long as you wear it. Just be wary not to drink the wine that one of the princesses will bring you. The soldier thanked the woman and went on his way to the castle. Once there, he went to meet the king. I can find the truth behind the worn-out shoes of the princesses. If you fail, I will have your head cut off. And if I do it, you will allow me to marry one of your daughters. You have courage, young man. Very well. You will sleep in the princess's room tonight. The soldier was introduced to the princesses and given a cozy bed in the princess's room. Just before he was about to sleep, a princess brought him a glass of wine. pretended to drink it 
bed and lay down on his bed and pretended to sleep. After some time, the eldest princess came up to him and checked if he was asleep. He is fast asleep, sisters. Let's go. All the sisters got together and pulled out prettiest of their clothes and got dressed. All of them were excited except the youngest one. I am not sure about this, sisters. I think something will go wrong tonight. Oh, you simpleton! You worry unnecessarily. Nothing will happen. Now come, let's go. The eldest princess then went to her bed and clapped twice. The bed sunk to the floor and a secret stairway opened underneath. All the princesses followed one after the other. The soldier also quickly got up and put on the cloak. He then followed the princesses onto the stairway. But halfway through, he accidentally stepped on the gown of the youngest princess. I am telling you sisters, something is amiss. Someone has got hold of my gown. Don't be a fool. It might just be a nail. Now stop crying or you will delay us. All the princesses followed by the invisible soldier made their way to the bottom of the stairs. They found themselves in a beautiful grove of fruit-laden trees and flowers made of silver. Beyond the grove was a lake where twelve handsome princes awaited the princesses in twelve small boats. Princesses rushed to their beloved each and got into his boat. The soldier sneaked into the boat with the youngest princess. The boat is very heavy today. I don't know what is happening today. Everything is wrong. The princesses and the princes reached the other side of the lake. There was another beautiful grove there. It was lit with a thousand lamps and music wafted throughout. Let's go, sisters! Everybody got off the boats and into the grove. The princesses and the princes danced with each other like there was no tomorrow. The soldier hid himself in one corner and watched everything.
the princesses danced through the night. And when morning came, they returned to the palace and slept. So this is where the princesses go and this is why the shoes wear out overnight. Let me see what they do tonight. The soldier waited and watched. The same thing happened again. The next morning, the soldier told the king what he'd found out. The king called his daughters. Is it true what the soldier has to say? Yes, father. Well, soldier, looks like you have earned your reward. Which princess will you marry? I am not very young now, so I would like to marry the eldest princess. The soldier and the princess were married on the same day and he became the heir of the king. Arrogance doesn't help people too much, does it, dear? No, it doesn't. I am sorry. I was mean to you. We'll be back here to play tomorrow. Why don't you come and join us then? It's okay. I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Thanks for narrating the story, Tia. Bye-bye. Bye. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.